Hello everybody, just a little bit further along here I thought I'd show you what I got going on. Since this is the uh, last layer on the trunk, I am wanting the pattern on the trunk to uh, turn out just so. So I'll get up close in here. And the goal is to uh, get away from that single strand look. Ooh, there's a spot right there I don't like so much, but oh well. It's there and it's staying. But otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. Uh, it's uh, once again that pattern but not pattern thing I like. And uh, you can see I have very little frequency of twist here. And the way I got there, uh, I suppose we'll back up a little bit so I can show you this. Put it on the tripod. One would think I could prepare better for this. Uh, but the uh, way I did this is at first I had a uh, wrench up here and I had made sure that the pattern was all nice and pretty in there and then tap, 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 tap until I got that all done. And once I liked where that was at, I took another wrench and put it directly below the first one and then removed that one that was right above it. And once again, tap, 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 and get in there with my fingernails and move them around a little bit so the pattern looked good. And once I finish that one, I put another one on below it, and then remove the one above it. Tap, 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 tap. And now for this one, I'll go down here and I'll get in here with my fingernails and you know, gently arrange these all and then kind of grip it like this. Once I got that pattern looking the way I want, and then put another wrench on it there, and remove this one, and then tap, 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 tap. And another thing you can do is tap, tap, tap right on the wrench, but uh, unfortunately you can't see the pattern underneath the wrench, so you might want to be careful with that, because once you really tap stuff tight, you, you can't really go back and edit it too much, because... Uh, You'll, you'll get to see marks where the wire was rubbing on it on other strands and you can see a few of them in there they're hard, hard to see I don't have many of them but like right there is one it's just a little abrasion and you might say oh you could go in there and polish that out well, I suppose you could but it'd take a long time I'd just rather avoid doing it so I'm gonna keep doing this until I get down that seven inch mark is probably about right here so I'm going to do it a little more and once I get it to that point where that first uh, major branch split is going to happen then I'm going to stop and uh, flip it over and put it in the uh, stand. So we'll see how that goes. And once again I did remove all of the uh, plastic wrap that was in there on the uh, other layers. I still do have Just a couple pieces of uh, plastic wrap down there at the bottom so I can uh, move these strands around with have, without having them get tangled up with the uh, strands on the inside. And so that's where I'm at for now. Back to work.